And at the White House, President Joe Biden is taking some credit for a better than expected job report in February. He claims it's a sign that his economic agenda is working. The U.S. economy added 311 jobs last month, outpacing economists' expectations. ABC's M. Wynn has more from Washington. President Biden praising Americans for getting back into the workforce, touting that the U.S. economy added 311,000 jobs in February, which he says signals a healthy and resilient job market. We've created more jobs in two years than any administration has created in the first four years. Compared to January, job creation decelerated but was still stronger than expected despite the Federal Reserve's efforts to cool the economy and bring down inflation. Jobs are available. People are working again. They're becoming more optimistic about their future. While the Labor Department's report showed the unemployment rate rose to 3.6 percent from a 53-year low of 3.4 percent, the average wage growth also slowed, rising 0.2 percent, the smallest monthly increase in a year. Now, all eyes on Fed Chair Jerome Powell, who told Congress this week his agency will likely hike interest rates again if signs continue to point to a strong job market amid persistently high inflation. Powell was hawkish uh, early this week. Our view is that the Fed is going to continue raising rates. The Fed's next decision could depend largely on next week's Consumer Price Index report. Workers are getting hammered right now uh, by inflation and especially things like rent. Um, uh, you know, there's groceries and there's gas. In the past two years, my rent has gone up almost 400. So that's a lot. And despite the U.S. economy continuing to outperform expectations, some economists are still expecting a recession, saying there's no way the Fed can raise rates this quickly without one. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.